Hey everybody, we're back. Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. This is Yaya. This is Coco. Thanks for joining us. Click that subscribe button. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. So, okay, let's get comfortable for a second. Um, obviously, we are in a different area than we are normally in. That is because I have realized, okay, wait, let's backtrack. Let's backtrack a little bit. So, big news really big news y'all know my husband is in the military well he got promoted he got promoted we're super proud of him yeah so proud of him but that means we're actually going to be living here for another two years which was definitely not the plan so i originally thought that we would be moving and when we moved we would buy a dining room table and get rid of a lot of this unnecessary stuff get rid of a lot of the unnecessary stuff. We would have a bigger house with more space for the family because they are getting bigger, clearly. Um, but we're not moving, so we need to make all our space functional. We're starting in the living room. Um, the reason our living room is set up this way, and I'll show you here, we have the TV in front of the window is because I didn't want the kids to be able to get to the window. But I actually had someone come out and install angel guards, which basically means the window can only open up about this much. So um, we're able to rearrange finally, because this was pretty much the only option for us. So we're able to rearrange and make the space a little bit more functional. And then we are going to tackle the laundry room and the dining area. Um, but I figured this would be a great way for me to one motivate y'all if you need some motivation on simplifying decluttering and keeping pieces that are useful if it's not useful and doesn't serve a purpose we are not keeping it but I also felt like this would be a great way for me to kind of just talk to y'all and chit chat a little outside of our normal videos because the original plan of this channel was to be a vlogging channel so that you could get to know who we are as a family and then the virus came and we were not able to do that anymore so i felt like this would be a great way for us to also let y'all into our world a little bit i guess okay so this is the space we've got this huge tv the tree we have toys everywhere i didn't clean anything up i'm just keeping it real over here we have a huge modular couch we got this the girls were um infants they were newborns the big kids were one and this was just perfect i fell in love with the idea of a modular couch so we have that but it's huge it's like it is humongous and then we have this big desk and we're gonna pretty much take all this stuff off except for the printer, the actual computer and keyboard and the Cricut because those are the things we use. We're gonna make this space functional. I grabbed some new curtains. Uh, Y'all, I loved this TV and it was really expensive but the kids took like a pen or something and scratched it up. So we're not getting a new TV in here for quite a while just because I feel like that's a waste. But let's start cleaning all this crap up and I'll catch you in a minute. Okay y'all, so we moved the TV and this area is cleared out but I've gotta get, I gotta get all of these toys up so that I can move each piece of the couch. There's six pieces so I can move all of that over here. Eventually, what I would like to do when Christmas isn't here anymore is move this over some. But I feel like this is the safest spot for the tree like in a corner just because Coco, like the reason our Mickey Mouse head up there is tilted is because Coco almost knocked the entire tree over because she almost fell. Well, she did fall onto the tree last night, so it got a little bit rough. But we need to clean all of this crap up right now. What happened? Uh-oh. What happened? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hurt her toe outside. That's her knee, Tita. That's her knee. She hurt her knee? Yeah. You hurt your knee, yeah, yeah? Yeah. Okay, y'all, so about two days after we got home from the hospital with the girls, the movers came to pack our stuff up in Hawaii, and it's pretty rough, and we went and stayed with my mom for two weeks, and then my mom actually flew with all of us here to get a place. We ended up staying in a hotel for like a month or longer. It was pretty rough, but we finally got this place, and it was nice because the girls were, you know, they were newborns, and the big kids were only one, so it wasn't like... We really needed a lot of space or a dining room table or anything like that. But we also weren't anticipating being here for five or six years. And so kind of going to be here a lot longer than we expected. So we really need to make this place functional. 
and um, I just feel like it would be a lot easier to make this place functional than to try to move everyone because then we would have to get on a waiting list and then you wait for a while and then you pack all your stuff up and you move and then before you know it you're out of here anyway so I feel like it's just the smarter decision to make this place nicer and more functional and just generally look nicer I don't know than to go through all of the hassle of moving so oh yeah you got some food okay so oh she's showing you her her food that she has say hi Coco hi hi so if you've been here for a while with us then you know that I've said before like in past videos and like vlogs that I really hated our house and the way it looked and that's why I don't vlog yep that's why I don't vlog in the house because just in general like my kitchen is really ugly and that's where we spend most of our time they love your cupcakes um and I feel like I'm kind of getting over that because Although I don't have an Insta-worthy house or a YouTube nice house, I'm just a mom, you know, like trying to get my life together and do my thing and make sure that my house is like kid-friendly, baby-proofed, safe. Um, so we're not, even after I fix all this up, we're not going to put like shelves or things on the walls or anything because although I'm not too concerned with them climbing on those type of things, things do get thrown often and I just don't feel like having to worry about things getting broken um, or glass breaking and hurting anyone. So we won't be doing any of that and hopefully by the time we move to our next house, we will be able to actually have decor that's not a huge Iron Man sticker. Um, but then who knows because I also wanna have another baby another baby or two so um you know we might still have a completely baby proofed house you know when we move in a few years anyway okay so right now i'm actually just cleaning all this stuff up so that i can move that couch but cleaning is not really going well because it, i'm pretty much just pushing everything to another side oh coco you show them your stuff you got to back up so they can see it you show them oh yeah yeah has a brush say hi yeah yeah come say hi to everyone i did Hi everyone. I yep. Okay, let's move the couch. We'll be right back. Okay, yeah, let me tell you. I've moved most of the couch. This is what we have so far. There's a piece here. Um, the ottoman part is back there. We've got pillows and toys everywhere. And let me tell you, uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> like, I am literally sweating already we're almost done i mean after we get the couch moved put the curtains up and then pretty much just go through the toys but i am sweating like there is a layer of sweat i had to tell the kids y'all gotta get out of here because there's just so much going on but it's almost done and it's not like this is some major makeover or anything it's just i'm just trying to get functional and like use the space to like live life you know how like you walk into a room and you're like oh that's a nice room i'm comfortable here or you walk through like the ikea showroom and you're like oh i'd like to have that room i feel like i would be at peace just hanging out in that room i want that but let's be real i'm not going to get that for many many years other than my beauty room so y'all see my beauty room and it's it's pretty and it's normally clean minus the girls desks which you don't see and then the floor because they have stuff all over the floor but normally the room is pretty clean and i like it to stay a specific way um the rest of the house is a damn mess and um i'm just tired of it i'm tired of there being so much clutter and so much stuff and like this this is an unnecessary amount of toys and this is barely anything this is the, not even half of the toys and the problem is the kids don't play in their rooms well the big kids i took their room and made it the beauty room because they sleep in my room the girls don't have anything in their room but mattress um so all of the toys are here in this living space and when my husband and I first got married, we lived in Japan and our one bedroom apartment was probably just the size of this. This might actually be bigger than the entire apartment as far as like the kitchen, dining room, everything. Um, our kitchen, dining room, living room was all one space, probably a little bit bigger than this living room. And then we had a small bedroom with a bathroom and then like a stand up washer and dryer and a closet. And that was pretty much all we had. And we were cool. like. We had our clothes, we had our shoes, everything was rented, the furniture, we had plates and stuff, but that was pretty much it. Now, we have all these kids and it's just like, there is shit everywhere. I could be a minimalist, minus like my clothes. I just got this at Walmart for 10 
dollars. There's something stuck on me. Anyway, um, minus my clothes, my shoes, and my makeup, I really could be a minimalist as far as like just a couch, a TV, any like coffee maker. Um, but with everybody else, they always want stuff and they get stuff and there's just stuff everywhere. And it's like, this is too much for me. I'm drowning in toys and clothes and there's so much clothes, y'all. It's like my arch nemesis is the laundry and we are in a never ending battle. Like there's literally stuff stuck to my feet. Like, it's just, it's so much. I am gonna redo the laundry room. I'm really excited about that because we have like a family closet, shared closet type of thing in the laundry room. So that's actually really functional if you have a large family or small kids. I don't have to go upstairs looking for clothes or anything. Everything, everybody's clothes minus mine in the laundry room. Um, but right now it's just not a very functional space outside of the idea of being a family closet. So that's the next project we're gonna work on and I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, I feel like this video is great because it's just, when I started this channel, I wanted to vlog our daily life, minus the fact that I hated the house, but once, especially after I had the second set of twins, so, so many people would come and talk to us in the grocery stores or Costco, Sam's Club, Walmart, just everywhere, and they were fascinated and they would be like, oh, you should have a TV show like on TLC or something and all of these things, and I was like, oh, that's, you know, that would be so cool but I could just do that myself. So we started the family channel, but then, you know, the virus came and honestly, we can't go out. Like we can't go to Disneyland or Legoland or to fun places or really anywhere that's not like a necessity type of place, like to the grocery store or Walmart. Or, I mean, we go to Walmart and Target and, and TJ Maxx, obviously like not for necessities, but we are very cautious. So I want, I do want to say that. But as far as like doing family vlogs like we were, I just can't um, right now. And I've, I've actually thought about changing the name of the channel from twins times two since we're moving into that whole beauty lifestyle realm of youtube but eventually the world will be normal again and i would like to be able to throw those vlogs in and i feel like twins times two just fits us he's in the video he's in the video in his underwear i feel like twins times two just fits us because i am a twins times two mama oh you're, everybody sees your your under oh, oh they're trailing in he's waving i yeah, her name is is actually Callie Ray. Mama oh. and Daddy. Mama and. Your name is Cam. Yeah. His I name is actually James. He's named after my father, but um, his middle name shortened is Cam. What Coco's name? Coco's name is Chloe. Yeah. Yaya's name is Kyla. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, y'all. This is what we have so far, and then the TV over here. I don't really love the desk right here. I feel like this looks odd with this space, but I wanted all of this cleared out so this could just be one play area. But doesn't this just look like a huge bed? The comforter is from Costco. It's $100 for the king size. This is the king size one, but I like to put a blanket over the top so that the kids don't fall through the dividers. Um, but this is perfect. If you have a big family, you should really look into this. I wouldn't get this couch though. This is from Ashley. I don't love it. I'll get the Costco couch that they have like this, but anyway. Got the curtains up. I think they look really nice. These I just got these yesterday at Home Goods for $29.99. I wanted something a little bit lighter um, and sheer to let the light in, but I'm really stuck on. Hi, Coco. Hi. 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 I got my oh, 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 hi, buddy. Hi. I want to oh, oh, me, Daddy. Okay, put my phone down. So I am really stuck though on what I'm going to do with this desk. I feel like it would make this space more functional as a play area. But I just feel like this looks odd. I don't know. Let's look at it from this angle. Okay, buddy. Okay. I don't know. Does it look odd? I guess it's like a computer desk nook area. I don't know how I feel about it, though. I guess we'll see once I get everything organized. I don't want to put it on. I really want this whole area. Look how dirty it is. Look at that. Uh, I want this whole area to just be a play area for the kids. So, I like this. I don't know. I think when the tree is gone and we can move that TV stand over some so that it's not so, like, off-centered from the couch, it will free up some space and I think it'll just look better in general. You like it, buddy? Yeah. You like it, Coco? Yeah. Yeah? I like it. Oh, you like it? Yeah, yeah? I don't mind it in the box. You like it, Coco? Yeah. I like the photo. Yeah. Who's Ginger? Hi, Coco. Hi. Can you tell everybody, hello. 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 Can you wave? 
Yeah. Okay, wave at them. Can you blow honey? Oh, mwah. My turn. Oh, blow honey, son. Good job, buddy. Okay, so now we are just going to wipe this entire wall down, like all of these walls, because they're disgusting, and then figure out how we're gonna rearrange all of the toys. But there's so much space right here. I literally, I love it, love it, love it. Mimin has been wanting one of those um, Matchbox car carpet things, and then um, we just really didn't have anywhere to put it. So, but now I feel like we do have somewhere to put it. Also, the white curtains, they just let in so much light, and I love it, love it, love it so much. I am so happy with this but I feel like I've been doing this for like an unnecessary amount of time oh. also can we just take a minute to say thank you to everybody because I feel like this channel has grown so much in the past year to year and a half and we've taken so many different turns as far as like the direction we're going and in the beginning I had no clue what I was doing and we were all over the place and then we finally got to just the vlogs and then we couldn't because of the virus and everything and now who knows what direction we're heading but um, even in all of the makeup videos and all of the other videos that we do reviews or whatever everybody loves the kids. Oh, she's showing you her car. Um, everyone loves the kids and it just means so much to me. Like when I read the comments when the kids aren't in the videos and you're like, where is Yaya? Where is Coco? Where are the kids at? Where are the girls at? It just means so much to me because I love that y'all care about them. Yaya, do not put that car on my TV. That's why we're not getting a new TV in here because we've talked about it and we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Don't put that, t that car on the TV. So, but anyway, it just means a lot to me that all of you are invested and love them so much because that was really the point of starting the channel was to, I don't know, let y'all into our world and for you to enjoy the moments that I get to enjoy with them. So it just really means a lot to me. Anyway, my sponge is dried out. Now I gotta, I gotta go get more water. I gotta start this whole thing over, but I'll be back in a second. Okay, y'all, this is what we have so far. You can tell um, some hours have gone by. We did a little running around, um, but we're home now and I'm gonna finish all of this up. So I do have the toy set up over there. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it this way, but for now, this is, hi, Coco. This is what we got going on. Hi, yeah, yeah. Hi. Um, I still need to do this desk. I did bring out these bins over here. Um, to put some toys or something in. I'm not sure exactly what we're what we're doing. And then I'm actually going to move this into the garage because it's not a functional, useful piece. Like it doesn't serve a purpose. Other than during the holidays, putting decorations up there, it actually has no purpose. So we are going to get rid of that once the holidays are over. And then the reason we left, because we were thinking about getting a TV and then having it mounted on the wall so that the kids could not destroy it or mess with it or anything. But I think we're just gonna hold off on that. I feel like once this tree is in here, because this is so lopsided right now. Y'all, this looks crazy. Like. The couch is all the way over here. The TV stand is over here. It's so lopsided. But once the tree is gone and, and Christmas is over, this will get pushed over so that it's like more symmetrical or even or lined up. And that'll actually give us a little bit more room over here because we kind of have a lot of Christmas presents. We've got like kitchen set. We've got like a lot of, we got a lot of stuff. So that kitchen set will go probably over here also. You know, I'm so tired already. I don't even know if I'm going to get to this tonight. I am. I'm going to finish this tonight. Um, <laughs> um, I'm so tired, y'all. I'm just, I'm tired. But I am so happy with what we've gotten accomplished today because, y'all, I'm not even going to lie. I really did not know when I was going to accomplish this, and I'm pretty glad that I have done it. I'm looking a hot mess, y'all, because I'm freaking exhausted. Um, but, but. I'm going to grab my bins over there, see what works over here on the top. So we did go through all these bins and organize them. This one is not, but this, each bin is organized a specific way. So we've got Legos, Barbies, action figures, cars, and then there are like some little, little people toys and things like that in there. So we're going to go through all of this. I've organized most of it, right? So this is organized. I have a few other toy boxes to go through, um, which is kind of why I'm like so over today already. Um, but I'm glad that we have this space over here. Like this makes me happy. It makes me happy. Um, 
I am a little concerned they put the angel guard onto the window so the window can't be opened, but they are willing to put bars on the window for added safety. I don't feel like we need that. We have had some children in our neighborhood fall out of the windows and um, even ones that fell out of this third story. And that's pretty high, but um, in all honesty, hi Coco, in all honesty, it's because the parents were not watching them and the window was open and the child pushed through the screen. So I'm, my children, we don't leave the windows open like that for them to be able to get to just the screen. I don't expect a screen to hold them in. So, um, love you, Coco. Um, so I'm not really concerned about that. We keep the windows closed, but just in case they cannot, um, if they could unlock the window, they can't actually open it to be able to fall out. But, um, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing that out there because actually one of our neighbors, like I've been in the back and I've seen somebody up the hill from us and their living room window is open and they live on like a two story, like the living room is on the second floor. And um, I've seen their kid like in the window pushing on the screen, like toddler aged child. So let's just be cautious here, okay? Let's practice like home safety, you know? Anyway, say hi, yeah, yeah. I got a car. She got a car. Oh, Coco's cooking. Cooking with Coco. Cooking with Coco. Mwah. Oh, okay. Don't say, don't say that. Don't I say my hair. Oh, yeah. She got hair. Okay, y'all. I feel like it's like 9 o'clock and it's not. It's actually only 7.30, but we're finally done. I went through all of the toy bins, all of the toy boxes. I organized that's Coco, that's everything. Tita. Yep, that's, that's Coco and that's Tita. What's your name? Coco. Coco. Your name? It's Tita Wita. Tita, Tita Wita. What's your name, buddy? Meman. Meman? Yeah. Okay, so... What's Yep, you're Hawaiian. He's Hawaiian. Um, so, anyway, I went through all of it. This is the desk, y'all. The desk looks amazing. If it's not functional, we don't want it. So I just put those, those things back there because we do eventually or will eventually occasionally use them. We use the printer sometimes and I use the Cricut often. I went through here. I organized all of this stuff. Back up, please. Back up, please. Yep, oh, organized what? all of it. I got these from the Dollar Tree um, the other day. So these are our extra um, potato men things. We just have everything organized, y'all. And honestly, y'all, I feel so much better about this whole space. Like, I just feel like I can actually come in here and comfortably relax, and the kids can still play since they don't have to actually do it like right in front of me. They have that space over there, and I feel like the TV is odd being right here it's not centered or anything so i really don't want to sit on this side even though i do want to sit on this side um but once the tree's gone then it'll all oh, it'll all make sense and it'll look great um and you know that's in a few weeks anyway it's almost christmas before we know it it'll be christmas right coco hi hi coco you what <laughs> it's a boy it's a fart toy that my brother got anyway y'all um, We've got to end it, but I have to tell you, it was so much fun having y'all spend the day with us and rearrange our life. <sighs> okay, so we had a meltdown for a second over there. Her, yeah, yeah, you can see her. Meltdown. Anyway, anyway, y'all, it's been such a long day, a very long, long day. Um, excuse us, Coco. Coco, excuse us. Okay, thank you. It's been such a long, long day, y'all, but I really enjoyed um, just having y'all with us and like laying on the couch in my new comfy space. Anyway, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell.